Flag hoist signaling is a method of conveying messages by displaying flags and pennants. The flags and pennants have particular names. They also have definite code meanings, all of which your code book gives you. Your first step is to learn to identify immediately the name of every flag, pennant, and repeater or substitute. Remember that the names given the alphabet letters are the same in all three forms of visual signaling. Here are the flags. A, affirm, B, baker, C, cast, D, dog, E, easy, F, fox, G, George, H, hypo, I, item, J, jig, K, king, L, love, M, Mike, N, negat, O, option, P, prep, Q, queen, R, roger, S, sail, T, tear, U, unit, B, victor, W, William, X, x-ray, Y, yoke, Z, Z. Here are the numeral pennants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Zero. The naval numeral flag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. The repeaters or substitutes. First repeater. Second repeater. Third repeater. The International Code and Answering Pennant. And here are a few special naval pennants you should know. The Naval Answering Pennant. The Fourth Repeater. Sopus. And Speed. On all large ships and at many shore stations, the flags are kept in enclosed racks called a flag bag. The flag rings and hooks are arranged for greater speed and accuracy in handling. They are bent on the halyard like this. Keep your halyard ring in your right hand. Then use both hands alternately, hooking into the ring of a flag with one hand as you pick out the hook of the same flag with the other. Continue, always alternating hands, until you hook into your halyard ring with the last flag and hoist the combination. On merchantmen or naval ships, you run up your code combinations on the foremast, the triadic stay, or the yard arm. The number of messages you can transmit with these flags and pennants is practically unlimited. Look in your code book for the code meanings of individual flags and of combinations. Remember that the alphabet flags are never used as letters of the alphabet, except in rare cases, such as the spelling of a person's name. Refer to your code book to determine the meaning of a hoist or the combination to use. However, be sure to memorize the following. Queen, my vessel is healthy. I request free pratique. Hypo, I have a pilot on board. George, I require a pilot. Jig, I wish to send a message by semaphore. Baker, I am taking on carrying or discharging explosives. Prep tear also means I require a pilot. Negat cast, the international distress signal. Time, position, and bearing signals are not listed in your code section, but your book gives you instructions on making them up. Here are a few such hoists. A time signal, tear 1534 or 334 p.m. A naval time signal, jig 13 or 1 p.m. A position signal, prep 43 first repeater 2, latitude 43 degrees 42 minutes. A bearing signal, x-ray 15 second repeater 
or 155 degrees. A naval signal, a firm pennant one, pennant five first, showing difference in use of repeaters. In naval procedure, this is 155. In international, it would be 151. Study your code book to learn how to draft messages and carry on communication. Here is a typical procedure. The sender encodes the message. First, he determines its key word, then finds that heading in his code book and picks out carefully the exact combination that conveys his meaning. Then the sender runs up the receiving ship's call. Here, King Dog Easy X-Ray or SS Cody. When the receiver sees the hoist, he raises the code pennant to the dip. The receiver quickly recognizes his call, so he two blocks the code pennant, then drops it to the dip again to await the sender's next group. The sender runs up the combination which transmits the intended message. In this case, Baker affirmed dog. To decode, the signalman on the receiving ship writes down the combination, then looks it up in the code book. As soon as this signal is decoded, the receiver again two blocks the code pennant. The sender then hauls down his message. The sender has completed transmission, so he runs up the code pennant. The receiver acknowledges the end of transmission in the same way he acknowledged the signal. Thus, communication is completed. Generally, only one hoist is run up on a ship at one time. Sometimes, however, several hoists are flown at the same time. In that case, they are read in this order. First, the foremost. Next, those on the triadic stay. Next, those on the starboard yard arm, then those on the port yard arm. Consult your code book for instructions on order of reading. See your code book too for naval to merchantman signaling procedure. The naval vessel hoists the international code pennant first and keeps it flying all the time the other combinations are being raised and lowered. One thing not treated in your international code book is how to make up a flag. But you need to know how, for they're often broken on a hoist to convey special meaning, particularly in naval procedure. The flag is folded and rolled up. Then the hazard is wrapped around it and drawn through. When the hazard is yanked by the signalman, the flag unfurls immediately, in this case, at the fore truck. Here is another way to make up a flag. Tie it with twine and loop the halyard around the twine. Then when the halyard is yanked, the twine breaks and the flag unfurls. As in other forms of signaling, Frequent practice is necessary. Most important, however, continually study your code book. Use it, of course, for encoding and decoding. And be sure to learn everything about special meanings and methods. Then study thoroughly all the material you find there on semaphore and blinker signaling. In semaphore signaling, you spell out words by moving small handheld flags to positions which make letters of the alphabet. The angles forming each letter must be made with greatest care, and the flags kept from fouling to guarantee good visibility. First, learn how to hold the flags so they will not foul. Holding the thumb along the shaft is one way to keep them clear. Another way that may help is to hold your finger along the shaft. If the flags start to foul, a slight movement of the finger and wrist helps clear them.
The next thing to learn is the positions that form the signs and alphabet letters. Here is the semaphore alphabet seen from a sender's viewpoint. A firm, Baker, Cat, Dog, Easy, Fox, George, Hypo, Item, Jig, King, Love, Mike, Negat, Option, Prep, Queen, Roger, Sail, Tear, Unit, Victor, William, X-Ray, Yoke, Z. Alphabet from receiver's viewpoint. A firm, Baker, Cat, Dog, Easy, Fox, George, Hypo, Item, Jig, King, Love, Mike, Negat, Option, Prep, Queen, Roger, Sail, Tear, Unit, Victor, William, X-Ray, Yoke, Z. Learning opposites may help you memorize the alphabet. Typo, Z. Item, X-Ray. Jig, Prep. King, Victor. Mike, Sale. Option, William. Queen, Yoke. Think of a clock behind a sender. This may emphasize alphabet positions. Note particularly the angles that form these positions. Break, Dog. Option, Break, Tear. Hypo, easy, break, jig, option, baker, break, roger, item, george, hypo, tear, break, do the job right. Now learn how a message is transmitted. The sender first makes the attention sign. The receiver answers with a cast. Join. Z. Note that the receiver gives a cast after each word. The cast means that the sender's words are understood. If the receiver doesn't give a cast, the sender repeats the word. When reception of each word is confirmed, the sender ends with A-R. Numerals are spelled. In naval procedure, the numeral sign is made first. Then each number is spelled as an individual numeral. When the spelling of the group is completed, the sender again makes the numeral sign. From here on is naval semaphore procedure. After making the attention sign, the sender tells the receiver the number of words in the group to be sent. Then he sends BT and starts his message. Join. Z. The receiver calls each complete word as he receives it. His recorder writes it down. United State Coast Guard Four Action King King means the message is completed and a receipt requested. The receiver here asks for a repeat by sending I am I. W A Join The sender returns W A Then informs the receiver that the word after join is Z The receiver then asks if action is the correct word he has received The sender makes cast, confirming that action is correct. Then both make roger, ending that message. In naval practice, 
The sender generally has a reader who calls off each complete word, not individual letters. As he calls the word, he underlines it, indicating that it has been sent. Here, the sender makes an error in the word coast. He indicates this by sending a series of E's, then goes back to the last correct word and completes the message. At the end, he asks for a receipt by giving a king. The receiver's roger shows the message is received. Generally, the option flags are used for sending, but when conditions of light or background make the prep flag stand out more clearly, this flag is used. The signalman on every ship carries a set of each and uses them according to location and weather conditions. Continual practice in both sending and receiving in semaphore is absolutely essential. You must make the letters yourself to learn how to send correctly and speedily. You must watch others send messages to learn how to receive accurately and fast. Practice both sending and receiving at every opportunity. Now you read the following message. In blinker, signals are transmitted by means of short and long flashes of light. Based on International Morse code, the flashes form letters which spell words or make code groups. Your first step is to learn what constitutes a dot and a dash. These are dots. These are dashes. This is a combination of a dot and a dash. This combination is actually the letter affirm. Wrist action and finger action are important in forming the dots, dashes, and spaces when using a key such as this. Constant practice gives you a rhythm in making dots, dashes, and spaces of correct length. However, finger action is the important thing on the blinker gun. You will undoubtedly use some variation of this device these days because only the receiver at whom it is aimed can see its flashing light. Whatever the device, your next step is to learn alphabet and numeral symbols. Here is the alphabet. Affirm. Baker. Cat. Dog. Easy, Fox, George, Hypo, Item, Jig, King, Love, Mike, Negat, Option, Prep, Queen, Roger, Sail, Tear, Unit, Victor, William, X-ray, Yoke, Z. Here are the numerals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Zero. Here is a message in which the spaces between letters and words are greater than normal. Make. Port.
quickly. Make port quickly. From here on, you see naval sending and receiving procedures. The sender always opens communication with a heading. The heading includes action addressee, date, time, and group number. In Blinker, the receipt of each group or word must be acknowledged with a tear. Now the sender is announcing the number of words in the group to be sent. Group 6. Then he makes BT and proceeds with the message. The receiver continues to acknowledge each word with a tear. When the message is completed, the sender sends a king. The receiver's roger shows correct reception. Each sends tear, ending that message. Here is what happens when the sender makes an error. His mistake in this case is sending U-S as one word, or us, instead of as initials. So he makes a series of E's. The receiver sends a tear, and the sender proceeds with the message from the last correct word. But here the receiver is still in doubt. He asks for a repeat, in this case of the fourth word. He sends I am I, group four, king. The sender gives him the repeat, sending group four, slant bar, sail, king. The receiver then asks if unit and sail are two groups. The sender confirms with a cast. Then a roger by the receiver is followed by each making tear, ending the message. You should read at this speed, BT. Practice is Important. King. Now you read this blinker gun message. 